Hey guys, what is up? Quentin Bachelor here and welcome back to a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to merge HDR photos in Lightroom. So if you are watching this video or looking this up, you probably already know what merging photos does, but if you don't know, merging a photo is taking two or three different photos and merging them together and creating a HDR photo. And what HDR stands for is high dynamic range. So it's going to be getting the best range of highlights and shadows from all three photos and compile it into one photo. So if we go ahead and jump onto Lightroom, here are the two photos I'm wanting to merge together. So I have this shot and then I have this shot. And you can see the exposure is drastically different between the two. So in the first one, when I took this photo, I exposed my photo to compensate for all the detail in the sky. I don't want to lose any detail up in that sky and it's really bright. So I lowered my exposure and the foreground is really dark, but that's okay because then I took a second photo where then I exposed my photo to best expose the foreground and the main subject. So everything that's green in the lake is properly exposed but now the sky is blown out. So now we're going to merge these two photos together and get the best of both worlds. Now you can do this with more than two photos, but I really don't recommend doing it with more than three because Lightroom will have a harder and harder time merging them together. And it's gonna take way longer the more photos you add. So I would say three is the max. You do a high exposure, a low exposure, and then a medium exposure. And you merge those together and you'll get a nice high dynamic range photo. So to actually do this, what we wanna do is go ahead and click on the photos by hitting Command. We already have this one selected and we'll go ahead and select the other one. Then we're going to right click and then we're going to come down here to Photo Merge and go over to HDR Merge. Once you hit HDR Merge, Lightroom is going to take a few seconds to do its thing and process the photos and convert them into a high dynamic range photo. And just like that, there is a preview of what you're going to have. As you can see, the sky is perfectly exposed and the foreground is perfectly exposed. Everything is perfectly exposed and it is that easy. But before we just move on, there are a few other things you can do in this state. Up at the top right hand corner, you have auto aligned. I have that checked on. Basically, it's just going to make sure your two photos are perfectly lined up. Granted, I did take both of these photos on a tripod in the same exact spot. And it's kind of a given if you're gonna do this, you definitely want a tripod so your photos are in the exact same spot. Also right now I have apply auto settings on so if I go ahead and check that off, basically it's just the same auto apply that you can do in regular Lightroom. I like to have it on because it just looks like a much bigger difference. But if we go ahead and take a look at the photo without the auto settings applied, you can still see there is a lot of detail in the sky and the foreground is not as dark. And then just below that we have de-ghosting. Now what de-ghosting is, is basically you're gonna want to apply this if you have some sort of element in your multiple photos that are moving. So if you're taking a photo of something like a waterfall or there's trees and grass, for example, this photo, the flowers may have slightly been blowing in the breeze. So I'm gonna want de-ghosting on. It's already on high and basically what de-ghosting does Instead of having multiple photos of the leaves in different angles, it just chooses one photos to use for the still image so the leaves or whatever element in your photo isn't moving around and looking blurry. And then if you want, you can go ahead and click this little checkbox that says show de-ghost overlay. And basically Lightroom will just show you, hey, these are the areas that we are de-ghosting because we saw some difference in movement in the photo. So once we're ready to accept this photo merge, I'm gonna go ahead and take the auto settings off because I like to start from scratch when editing my photos. You're gonna go ahead and just hit merge and it's going to finalize that and condense the photos into one photo. All right, so now when you see this photo and it has a number up in the top right hand corner, that means that is a HDR photo and there are multiple photos within that photo and you can simply just click on it and start editing. Anyways, that's how you merge photos in Lightroom. It's pretty simple, but if this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.